Hey there, I have a message for you. Did you know I have hundreds of detailed tutorials showing a step-by-step in how to cut and style all types of hair in my app? Plus, you can be part of a private community where you can ask all your questions directed to me and of course, connect with barbers all over the world. If you want to become a barber with a high performance and make six figure a year, join us. The link is on the description on this video. Okay, so, okay again, yep. a comb over, yep. okay, to the side. Okay, so I think I'm gonna maintain the natural look, okay, of his hair. Now, to be able to start cutting his hair, I did shampoo his hair twice. Okay, I did only shampoo. And now I'm applying a grooming, groom, grooming. Grooming, nothing else more than just like a serum, a serum that is gonna help me uh, to, when I'm sectioning, helping me for sectioning, helping have more control of the hair, help uh, glue the hair together and have more precise and cutting line. And, and also has memory. When I say memory, because it has a little bit of hold, once I finish cutting, I can blow dry and the hair will stay in the same spot, the same place that I blow dry in style. And then I can do the sides if this is the case. So that's what groom means. So now, right here, I'm just going to follow its natural growth pattern to start section. So from my calic, you see this hair? This hair wants to go this way. And this hair wants to go forward in that direction and here as well. And this one wants to come down because the hair goes like this clockwise direction. Okay, now here is my calic. Now I can do one thing to, to be more natural. So here, I just kind of groom forward with the grooming product with uh, wider side of the comb and I can see where the hair, the contours of the hair start rounding off and that that where is the hair is going to separate more from top and with this transition area and with my finger I can kind of tap it down now I know where exactly the hair separates itself from the sides naturally but what I'm gonna do, I'm going to groom all the hair down to the mid recession and I'm going to cut in square layers, flat layers, which is gonna give me a square shape. At the same time, I can control how high, you know, if I have experience as a barber, I can control how high I'm gonna stop with my clippers. In vertical, now I kept my fringe long because the hair from here travel all the way from here, two fingers behind my uh, outline here, and then I keep cutting in vertical. So here I'm grooming down, and I'm going to put my base on mid recession, but if I cut too high, the hair will spike. This, this side, I'm gonna choose from one side that is gonna be disconnected because this hair is gonna be combed over this side. So here, what do I do? I groom the hair, okay? Choose my length and I cut it. So that's my, my first section. So now when I groom it back, so I got my next section, I push the hair like one finger width behind my first section. And then you can kind of use your comb and groom the hair and the, the, your section will be right behind like this way. So I groom the hair and my section is right here. If I release the hair, you're gonna see that's what I need to cut. So always cut following your first section. Starting from here, from the apex, okay, I take one section, hold the hair, I cut with my blending shears, and I remove some weight, and I groom the hair away, and I can never pick up the same section. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna create a hole here if I pick up the same section. 
So now, every time I cut, I move my shears and I cut it again. So when it gets to the fringe, I'm just gonna cut once at the tip of the hair, and then I come back on the other side. I'm going to check if his fringe, it is even. First section, I'm pulling 90 degree straight down, 90 degree. My sec second session, section, I'm pulling the hair elevated. Actually, I said wrong. I pulled my first zero and I pulled my second elevated and my third elevated as well. 90 degree now. I'm already creating my style. I'm gonna gain some time because now the top is done and the side's gonna be done in a minute. Number two closed. So now, I'm going to stay like a finger width with my number one below when I was the bow point two. First graduation line with the number one closed. Right above my hairline, I'm going to create my second graduation line with my zero closed. Debulk with the one closed, I create my first guide line, second guide line with zero. So now I need to start working those lines. I'm going to use my magic clip half open to start, and then I'm gonna close down my lever to remove this line here. Second, my second guide line. When I say second, it's not because the one is on the top, it's because the one is beneath, because that was the one that I created uh, after. My number one closed, working on my way down with my lever. Zero open. When I'm blending lines, that's why I use my magic clip it's just because it's lighter for me to work and maneuver my clippers well. If I wanna go high, I open up my level a little bit and I can go high. If I wanna work with the corners high, open up all the way. Working with the edge of the blades. Now I'm going to work with my trimmer. As always, mark my line and push the hairline that I just made it. I just did it up, rub, and then tilt it, kind of flip it, belly up, and finish blending. Here the same. Push it up. Now removing the remaining hair. Always start uh, from the, the guard that I started with two was two closed. Now the guard that connects with the two closed was one and a half. One and a half open, open, one and a half halfway closed. You see, I start from the line, I go all the way close to the two. 
So now I'm gonna keep working on this line with one open all the way, closing my lever all the way. So with one open, working on a lever, one closed. One closed now, almost finished, but I need to put it back my half and then working with my zero open, using my lever to finish blending the line. Putting back my half. Half open. Closing my lever. Since the graduation line, the guideline that I'm, I'm, I'm blending was created with a one. So now when I finish closing here my lever, with a uh, half, the line is going to be like almost 100% disappeared. Now zero, just work on details. Now I'm going to use my regular comb, my regular shears just to kind of dust it off the hair here a little bit. Trim the length, what is overlapping here, on top of where I worked with clippers, with the guards. Now here I'm doing point cutting, adding some texture a little bit higher, but since the hair is kind of short, I'm lifting the hair with the comb. it down so now I'm going to work here so now I just grab my barbering comb and I'm gonna start work low in the transition with my barbering comb when I say transition where I stop with my guards with my clipper and then where the long hair starts So finish my scissor work. Now I'm working on my outline, my hairline. So I'm using my straight razor here just to create a crisper line. Line is gonna be more crisp. Always maintaining my natural look. One hand, I use the palm, and the other, I'm grooming with my fingers. So now I'm going to use a comb. So that's how I do my style. I did blow dry a little bit with the grooming at, the, at first, in the beginning. Now I dried, add some texture. I now apply a little bit of paste. Now I'm going to use my vent brush. I'm going to put all the hair in place 
and then I'm working with my creativity to create something beautiful for him. Now I'm gonna use two comb, okay? I'm gonna use a wider tooth comb and my regular comb, my cutting comb. The wider tooth is to create some quiff uh, sections here. And the smaller comb, my regular comb, I'm gonna work on the edge where my transition area is to make the hair more neat and clean. Now with my regular comb, working on the edge. You guys saw it, you guys saw the step by step, how I do a comb over with a natural side part 